Hi guys, I'm Sarah, Burst Ambassador and Dental Hygienist. A lot of my time I have spent working with children and today I want to talk to you about seeing a child in your chair for the first time. As you know, we're required to wear a lot more PPE and we could be a little bit more intimidating now than it was in the past. We also can't have toys out and decorations because everything has to be simple and easy to wipe down. So how can we make this appointment as easy and fun as possible for these little kids? First, I wanna talk about scheduling the appointment. Some things to remember, you don't want to schedule the appointment near other medical appointments. That can get the child a little bit apprehensive because they're gonna think of shots, they're gonna think of uncomfortable things, and we don't want that. We want this to be a happy, good time to meet the hygienist, get their teeth cleaned, and visit with the dentist. Next, you wanna remind the parent to refer to the appointment as just having their teeth brushed and counted. Those are two things that the child can understand. And if they can understand it, they're not gonna fear it quite as much. A cleaning might cause some questions in their mind and some confusion. So I like to tell the parent, just tell them we would like to come in and brush their teeth and count them. I also let the parent know that it's fine for the child to bring a stuffed animal or a uh, baby doll or something that the child is close to and we can show the child on that object how we're going to clean their teeth. Lastly, I think it's very important that you go by your dentist's guidelines. If they say three and over, go for three and over. If they say two and over, go for two and over. They are the ones that are going to have to decide if the child needs referred or if the child needs treatment, they're going to have to be the ones to do it. So. Don't pull any fast ones and don't try to make your own expert opinion. Go by what the dentist says and you'll be playing it safe. Now I would like to go over how I demonstrate to a child what's going to happen during the appointment so they know before they get laid back in the chair how everything works. This is my friend Tara helping me out today and here I am showing you how covered I am and how scary this can be to a little kid who's not seen anyone dressed like this before. Now Tara is showing me her hand and I am just going to polish the child's fingernail and let them see how it feels. I say your tooth is hard just like your fingernail so it's going to feel kind of similar. I just take this little spinny toothbrush and shine it up. Next I squirt a little bit of water in their hand. The kids love this part because they love textures and things like that. And then I let them use the suction to suction it out. Last, I get the floss and I ask the child to hold their hand in a position to say stop. I then let them watch me floss between each of their fingers, showing them how I'll use it between their teeth. If I have the trust of the child, I take the Explorer and I rub it gently across their fingernail and I explain to them again, your tooth is strong and hard like your fingernail. So it's gonna feel similar to this. I like to tell them it's like a little guy ice skating across their teeth. Some other ideas that I wanna share with you are make sure that your chair is down in the lowest position so the children can look right at your face. You want the child to be looking at you and not at the parent. If you can get the child to sit in the chair by themselves, generally you'll have more success. I like to have the youngest sibling go first a lot of times they get nervous by watching the older sibling. So some things you can say are, oh, you're just little, it'll only take a minute to brush your teeth. Can we go ahead and get yours done first? Or you can try, let's go ahead and get yours done so that you can play with your prize while your brother or sister is getting their teeth cleaned. Those have been some helpful tips that have helped me pull the child away and get the child to focus on me and to get them to not be all worked up by the time they get in the chair. The next thing that I have found is sometimes laying the chair back can cause the child to jump and then they're done. They're running out to their mom. So what I like to do is I like to tell them to push the chair back like they're sitting in a recliner and as they push back, then I motion the seat to go back with them. Now let's talk about waiting on the exam. You guys know it can be 30 seconds or it can be 20 minutes that you're going to have this kid in here and you need to entertain them. So 
have the parent watch the child take off and tell the dentist, I have a child, they're a little apprehensive, please come and do my exam. You go back in and I like to say, hi Johnny, I just told my friend, Dr. So-and-so, how great of a job you did. They'll be in in just a minute to check your teeth. Do you wanna play some games? All kids love games, that works. Some things I play are, guess my favorite color, guess my favorite animal, what is your favorite toy? Anything that you can get them to talk to you and get to know them and just enjoy them. I like kids, I love seeing kids, so it's not too hard for me, but there are some people that just are not kid people. And so think outside the box and try to think back to when you were a kid, what did you like to talk about? Whatever it is. You also wanna throw in there some brushing instructions and a little bit of patient education for the parent about sugar exposure and things like that. But mainly we wanna focus on the child. I like to ask the child a few things to get an idea of what they like, take a Sharpie and draw out a picture for them and let them color it if I know it's gonna be a while. It can be something as simple as a rainbow or if it's something crazy like a bike or a dragon, it just depends on how artistic you wanna be, but they're gonna think it's great regardless of how you feel about it. So sketch something out, give them some crayons and even color with them, they'll love it. Last, the exam. I like to have the kid prepped for the exam. So while we're waiting, I say, don't forget, you have to scoot all the way up to the top of your chair. And I always tell them, take your hands, cover your belly button, because they have a tendency to want to put their hands up like this, and that makes your job really hard. So hands over your belly button, scoot up high. Remember to do that when my friend, Dr. So-and-so comes in to check your teeth. Okay, so the dentist is in there, the child is sitting there, he or she has done a great job, and they have decided that they love you, but they don't want any part of the dentist. So here's what you do. You do your best to get behind the dentist. The dentist will be sitting, checking the teeth, hopefully. And if you're behind the dentist, you want to stand so that your face is above the dentist's face. You don't have to be really close to them, but stand back, stretch up, wave to them, hold up their new toothbrush, hold up their new prize, and have the dentist look or have the child look up and over the dentist's face, and that'll give your dentist an excellent view of the child's teeth. Trust me, they will appreciate it. So that's all I have. Let us know some new topics that you would like to hear about. And if this has been informative to you, please pass it on to your friends. Thank you.